Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable emoji love Valentine's Day cake. It's really cute and it's super fun and easy to make, so let's get started with it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to make this cake is obviously to bake a cake. I have an 8 inch round cake that I used our vanilla cake recipe to do. Um, I also have made up um, some of our sweet buttercream recipe. You can find the links below for the video as well as the recipe for that. Um, I also have a cake plate, just an 8 inch round as well, and a spatula and a scraper. And they're the first things that we're going to use so that we can attach all of our cake to our board and then do a nice smooth coat finish along the sides. So just attach your cake to the board using some buttercream. And then add nice filling layers of your sweet buttercream in between your cakes. Stack your next one on top, give it a press down, and I just scrape along the sides to get the excess and make sure that the cakes are nice and level and even. If you want to see us cutting, filling and crumb coating a cake in more detail, check out down below and you'll find a link to the playlist. Now you don't have to do these extra steps of shaving down the sides to make them really straight up and down. If you don't want to, you can just go ahead and get started with doing a crumb coat. But you guys know how much I love the inside and outside of the cakes to be completely flawless. So just apply your crumb coat and then scrape it back and this will just lock in the crumbs so that none of it gets into your final coat and then just do the top of your cake and pop it in the fridge for a good 15 minutes and now all you do is chop the top edge off and then go ahead and attach it to a cake board and now I'm applying a nice smooth coat just to the sides of the cake And lastly, just drag the excess into the center. Now to do the cute swirl effect on top, I'm using a number 32 piping tip, which is a star piping tip. And we're just gonna make little circles to make this even cuter. Coming up almost to the edge of the cake, squeeze and release. Doing a little full turn as you go, working all the way around. So squeeze and then rotate. You can rotate to the left or the right, whatever feels most comfortable to you. And then for the next row, you just come in a little ways and do it all over again. And just three in the center. And now the final step in our emoji love cake is to give it some lovely eyes as well as a huge cheesy grin. So to do that, I'm going to use modeling chocolate. You can also use fondant if you prefer, but what I would do with fondant is roll it out and cut it before you start decorating the cake, just to give it enough time to set up. So rolling out our red and then cutting out our cute hearts. And then doing the same thing with our brown, except we're going to cut it with a circle cutter and then trim up that cute mouth with a pizza cutter on just a slight curve. And just give them a light press down. And there we go, guys. It's our lovely emoji bag.